Hi guys. Well, it is another exciting night uh, sitting here alone in Doomsday Trailer with my thumb up my ass uh, considering my life. So uh, I know you guys are so fascinated by my uh, my love life, or more precisely, my lack of of love life. So you know I am. I got two more weeks down here in Trumpville, USA. Uh, so two weeks from <coughs> tomorrow, I will be heading back to New York, baby. So uh, I am, you know, for, for some reason I cannot explain, I am somehow still clinging to the notion that uh, despite, what is it now, 10 years of failure that I am going to meet my doomer chick forever on pile of fish. So I have been down here for six months, uh, you know, coming through page after page after page uh, of these goddamn clueless moron, Trump tard, whatnot. And I'm saying, okay, Hambo. You know, I, I actually had two fortune cookies at the Chinese restaurant last week. You know, so for the past four years, of course, I have been asking uh, my fortune cookie about you-know-who, about the little succubus up there in Pittsburgh. And the last time I asked the fortune cookie about that particular uh, little succubus, uh, the fortune cookie, <laughs> greatest fortune cookie I've ever said, uh, ever read, said, the hardest thing to be is the person someone else wants you to be. So obviously, that was a fortune cookie directly from the little succubus to me telling me I am not going to be your doomer chick forever. So I really have gotten her out of my life with the help of the mushroom god. So what I asked both my fortune cookies just a few days ago, you, you know, what is you know, what does my future hold, uh, you know, am I ever going to meet a woman again the rest of my life, or am I going to be sitting alone every night for the rest of my fucking life with my thumb up my ass watching Netflix? So I asked the fortune cookie, the first fortune cookie said it is always best to be prepared for the unexpected. And the second fortune cookie, when I asked the same question, said, you will have success this year. This year, I will have success. And so since I'm gonna be in, you know, essentially Ithaca, New York, for the next six months and, uh, to help me prepare for the unexpected. Uh, so I go back on, uh, at, uh, on Pile of Fish for the first time in, uh, in several weeks. And so, you know, saying, oh, okay, I am just sick and tired of being fucking alone. Let, let's cut to the chase. What is this all about? I'm sick and tired of being alone. I, I know a lot of you have some uh, great fantasy that this 64-year-old man is, is some walking, is just basically a 14-year-old walking hard-on, and all I am looking for is a warm, wet hole to stick my dick in. Uh, as much as I wish that were true, because uh, I really could find that if that's all I wanted, but I want, I, I'm sick and tired of being fucking alone. I'm looking for a goddamn companion, uh, it, it, it is, it is what I'm looking for. So uh, I, I said, let's cut to the chase. 
that's what it's all about. Uh, and I said, y y you know, and it's just going to be so fucking nice to get out of Donellan, Florida, going up to Ithaca, New York. You know, my problem in Ithaca, New York is the complete opposite of down here. Instead of these fucking clueless moron bimbo Trump tards, I'm going to be dealing with these goddamn limp dick lefties. So I get online and go on pile of fish, go up there to Ithaca. I've been on there about five minutes. And you know, they, they have this little headline of this woman looking for a companion, is, is what she said, looking for a companion. Had this picture of herself, one picture, she's my age, she's not a raving beauty, but she's not fat, uh, you, you know, for, for a woman my age, uh, she looks alright, uh, she's not just a blob of fucking adipose tissue, uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and I'm looking at her, and I said, well, you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers, and so, you know, they have a little bit of a bio where they fill out the, they fill in the blanks, and then they put about so-and-so, uh, so whatever her name was, I don't know, Mary Sue or whatever, and, and uh, so what was it, her, I, I, I don't have this written down, she, her profession is she is in construction and I said well that could suit me real well uh, having having a girlfriend who knows how to swing a fucking hammer so under drinks uh, you know how often do you drink drinks often <laughs> drinks often uh, does drugs socially. So she's not a fatty. She drinks, she works in construction. She drinks often, hopefully after she's finished her day's work uh, in construction. She does drugs socially and then you know where you go and you just and, and the woman describes herself this was her total description. I am sick and tired of being alone. I am sick and tired of being alone. Uh, she's, uh, I'm sitting here alone, uh, drinking heavily, sitting here in, in, in probably in her goddamn trailer with her thumb up her ass, drinking heavily, sick and tired, uh, 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 of being alone. Uh, and that, that's all she put. Uh, that, that, you, you know, she edited out all this other shit, not one mention uh, of uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, uh, the Green New Deal. She never mentioned fucking uh, long walks on the beach, uh, whatever. Uh, she never mentioned fine dining. She's sick and tired of being alone. And she's looking for a fucking man uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York about her age who is sick and tired of being alone. And uh, I, I, I should have just signed up and, and said, darling, uh, you and I are a match made in heaven. But no, I had to keep going. So I keep going uh, down, and I see the you know the, these little catchy headlines that they have. You, you know, it is pile of fish. So there, there's always these plays on words, kind of fish related. And her headline was, "I swim in the deep end." I swim in the deep end, and I, uh, you, you know, I'm always saying uh, that I swim around in the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool, and I cannot believe it. Here is a woman in Ithaca, New York, uh, now 
she does not have a picture, and, and she said something that she tried to post a picture of herself, and that pile of fish, I noticed a, a lot of women don't have their photos posted, and they said, and she said, I tried to post a photo, but uh, it, I, I have to do this fucking facial recognition. I have to go through some facial recognition uh, thing with pile of fish. She has no interest in doing that, uh, but she'll be glad to send a photo along. But anyway, so her profession is part-time nag. She is a part-time nag who swims around in the deep end. She drinks socially and she said she does not do drugs. And uh, here is her... Uh, so this is about whatever her name is. Instead of, I am sick and tired of being alone. This is what the deep end swimmer had to say. I am a laid back, critical, outside the box thinker and rely on my discernment to get through life. I love life, not crazy about the state of our world, but I know everything will be fine. Uh, so so I, I know, guys, you think uh, that, that, I would have, that, that I would have slammed it shut right now, but you have to understand what we're talking about. We're talking about a pile of fish, for God's sake. Okay, this is pile of fish for, uh, for even a woman to have reached the apocalyptic stage. It, she, she is ahead of 99% of the women who, you know, are, are, are looking for a positive, clean-cut uh, employee. You, you know what I'm saying. Uh, just the fact that, that she's an optimist, at least she, she fucking gets it a little bit. She's an out-of-the-box, critical thinker, relying on her discernment to get her through her life. Uh, until then, until when, I'm not quite sure, you know, she's not crazy about the state of our world, however, but, but she knows everything will be fine, but until then, I guess until it does get fine, I find myself questioning everything and going down lots of rabbit holes. I marvel at nature and love all animals and they seem to like me back. I am fairly healthy overall. I exercise regularly and am careful what I eat. I do enjoy 420 I drink socially, but don't use any prescription or illicit drugs. I love music, alternative rock being my favorite genre, and, and I play guitar recreationally. I am spiritually grounded and have a great connection with our Creator. I like to ponder possibilities about life, and I am deeply involved in current events. I live modestly, and I have everything I need. I am overall very content and perfectly okay on my own with my cat. So I am not looking for companionship, I am looking for a kindred spirit who is spiritually mature and can add wisdom to my life. As far as superficiality, I like 
tall men who take care of themselves. You know, 99% of women on a pile of fish. She's 5'7". Uh, I like tall men who take care of themselves. I am a sucker for long hair and am drawn toward right brain creative individuals like musicians, artists, writers, painters, etc. I also love thought-provoking ideologies and opinions. She loves thought-provoking ideologies and opinions. I don't want to be around drug users including pain or anxiety meds, heavy drinkers or cigarette smokers, but I do like cigars. So there is a problem there. But anyway, I have no interest in traveling the world, but the thought of driving across America sounds very appealing at some point. One last thing, I steadfastly remain unvaxxed, unmasked, and unafraid. And hopefully you do too. Then sidebar, sidebar, if you still hate Donald Trump, then you won't like me, and I'm okay with that. I am seeking a like-minded partner at this point. <laughs> you, you, you know, guys, this is why we're so fucked with Donald Trump. Uh, th there is no male Trump tard in, at least in Donellan, Florida, who would have any fucking clue what any of that shit that she wrote meant. They, 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 they would have no clue. Donald Trump would, uh, would, would read this and have no fucking clue what that crazy bitch was talking about with her uh, out-of-the-box, critical thinking, using discernment to get uh, through her life, uh, you know, healthy habits, she exercises, she, uh, you know, she eats well and she exercises, blah, blah, blah. This woman is college educated, obviously intelligent, aware, articulate, uh, educated, I uh, think I, you know, clearly this woman uh, it, 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 it is not a clueless fucking moron. She lives in fucking Ithaca, New York, and she is a hardcore Trump tard. And, and what I don't get, you know, I, I get these comments. Uh, you know, to my uh, dump the Trump the hive things from these unvaxxed people, uh, these unvaxxed Trump tards. Donald Trump is vaxxed, you clueless fucking morons. Donald Trump is vaxxed, and he is taking full credit for Operation Warp Speed. Okay. The, 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 these hardcore Trumpsters uh, who, who uh, scream that they're only, uh, they have no interest in, in, in meeting up with someone uh, who has been vaccinated when, uh, when their fucking uh, cult leader is not only vaccinated, but, uh, you know, taking all the credit for Operation Warp Speed. This is really using a lot of discernment and critical thinking. Uh, you know, anyway, but, uh, you know, reading this shit from this woman, uh, 
you know, there was a few things about the apocaloptimism uh, about obviously like every fucking woman on the planet, uh, she wants some seven foot, ten foot tall guy. Uh, you, you know, uh, that's uh, you, you just got to deal with. I don't know what the shit about the cigars was, but uh, this woman, uh, what the fuck? This is an obviously intelligent, college educated uh, woman who is a hardcore Trump tard. She doesn't want to hear from you if you don't have Donald Trump's dick in your mouth. And, and this is what pe people, so many people, uh, are, are missing on, on all of their anti Trump rants, thinking that every fucking uh, Trump tard looks like they just stepped off the set of Duck Dynasty. That they, they, they think of Trump tards, uh, these fucking limp dick lefties in Ithaca, New York. They picture a, 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 a Trump tard and, and they picture some fat, uh, pot bellied, uh, redneck, uh, chewing tobacco, uh, waving his Confederate flag, uh, driving his goddamn monster truck up and down, throwing his cans of fucking uh, whatever, not a Bud Light, I guess Coors Light out the window. Uh, you, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, 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 and it's these kind of uh, people uh, who are the most dangerous uh, f f fucking Trump tards out there. Uh, it, 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 if this woman who could sit there and write that up until that last line, I I any woman uh, with the ability to sit there and, and, and pen that and, and, and then end up, if you still hate Trump, you won't like me. I am looking for a kindred partner. Well, she ought to move to fucking Donellan, Florida. Okay? Bitch, if you want a fucking kindred partner, move to fucking Dunnellan, Florida and, and hook up with one of these Duck Dynasty rednecks. Uh, they wouldn't have any fucking idea what, what any of that shit meant. They, they would read that goddamn thing even if they could pronounce half the words in the goddamn thing. And, and they would say, what the fuck is this crazy bitch? talking about. She must be one of them limp dick lefties from New York. Fuck it. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to stick with the woman. Uh, I'm sick and tired of being alone. I'm a goddamn average, uh, just an average schmuck uh, out there uh, working construction uh, coming home, sitting alone at night, uh, heavy drinking, uh, waiting uh, for a companion to show up in my life. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, that's the latest update uh, from moving from Trumpville back to Ithaca, New York. Uh, and, and getting out shopping on pile of fish. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm so pathetic. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to take my lonely ass across the kitchen and pour me another drink and uh, go turn on Netflix. I think The Matrix, that they're running The Matrix. I only watched that movie, The Matrix, one time, and I wasn't paying much attention to it. I think I missed a lot of it, so I think I'm going to gonna watch The Matrix and, and, and try to figure out what the fuck that woman is all about. We're fucked. This is, this is the reason that Donald Trump is, uh, is going to waltz into the White House. It's not Duck Dynasty. It's dangerous bitches like this. Make no fucking mistake about it. 
Bye, guys.